Well, thank you all for allowing me to be here. Wow, that's hot. <laughs> My wife is Canadian, too. Hey. So we were having, you know, a plate of squares the other day and wondering if I should bring my toque or not. <laughs> what? Come on. Eye opening, isn't it? To see how that tissue works. The thing I like to point out uh, on those videos is you can see on the normal joint, that disc is really intimately associated with the condyle, isn't it? And if you took that condyle and pushed it backwards, that disc isn't going to necessarily just jump off the front, is it? It's like this. And so if you don't have a disc displacement or internal derangement and you bring your jaw back or you bring your jaw lateral, which also takes it backwards, your disc doesn't jump off and all of a sudden start clicking. Now sometimes it will, huh? I've been showing my patients before and I'll move my jaw and bang, my jaw will pop and kind of freak me out and kind of hurts a little bit and luckily I know it's a good TMJ guy so I, I'm okay. But my point is just because you move the jaw, if that disc is proper, if the disc is healthy, it's going to want to stay in a good relationship. Okay, here's an MRI, right side, little legend down here. There's the disc, it's a pretty healthy joint. You know, look at that joint space and stuff, that, that's decent. Okay, there is uh, open, and open not so wide, you know, they're not opening very far. Well, that's because on this side, here's the disc, and it's all scrolled up there anteriorly. And here it is when they try to open, it gets all bunched up. Okay, here's another one. Here's the disc here. Here's open. Open, the disc shows up a little bit better. And the range of motion is not bad. Here's the other side. Disc is right there. Posteriorly displaced condyle, also superior. And then when the patient opens, look, pretty decent range of motion as far as down the eminence, but disc completely... Let's say you can't get an MRI, because it's going to be a six-month wait. So you've got a patient in that's been locked for a week, so in my town, I get a patient in Monday who says, hey, I think I've been locked for 10 days. I call up the MRI center. That patient's getting an MRI that day, that afternoon. They're in my office the next day with a disc in their hand. The uh, CD, that is. And <laughs> with the alcohol. This is my wife, who is one of my best models for stuff like this, spraying off with the ethyl chloride, dental syringe technique, Okay, that's actually an optical illusion. I cut off the needle. <laughs> that's deep. But <laughs> well, that's about how deep I go. Really? Uh-huh. Wow. Okay. So, after the shot, ask the patient if their bite feels different. It should. Huh. Because you just put 1.8 cc's. Are your car pills 1.8 cc's? Yeah. Okay. 1.8 cc's of anesthetic into their jaw joint. <laughs> and if you're in that superior joint capsule, you just distended that thing, didn't you? So when the patient bites down, they say... I ask them after I get the shot, so, does your bite feel different? I don't say, you can't get on your back teeth on the right side, huh? Because the patient would say, uh, yeah. You know, what, what do they know? They've, they've never thought about their bite in their whole life. So you say, does that feel different? And they go, whoa, I can't bite down on the right side. And I go, great. That's exactly what's supposed to happen. Okay, so arthrocentesis will not help that. Keys to success. Accurate diagnosis in the first place. Good technique. A reducible disc. Someone's been locked forever, probably not going to reduce it. Uh, my record right now is a year and a half. The patient was locked and we got, got him unlocked. Okay? And, I should hasten to add, I have patients that have been locked for two weeks that I've not been able to unlock. Okay? Uh, immediate treatment to stabilize the reducing disc, follow up with appropriate long-term care. Non-reducing displacements rarely reduce spontaneously, often lead to degenerative changes. I tell my patients that all degenerative arthritis is due to disc displacement, but not all disc displacement results in degenerative arthritis. But we just don't know which ones will. Okay? You, all in this room, have the ability to learn how to do this and perform it at a, with a high level of predictability. Patient education, follow-up are the keys. Relatively simple procedure may save a patient from a lifetime of problem. So do it. 